Vanessa Nakate. She has become the symbol of the Ugandan climate movement. The 24-year-old got involved in climate activism in 2018 after her country was hit by unusually high temperatures. Joining the worldwide climate protests, Vanessa camped with other activists in the freezing cold Switzerland at the World Economic Forum. Unfortunately, she didn't get the same attention that other activists got. She was cropped out of a published group photo and the incident went viral. In an online press statement, Nakata hit back at racism in the media. Other activists joined in solidarity, including Ndoni Ntunu from South Africa and Greta Thunberg from Sweden. You're focusing on climate activism uh, from different corners of, you know, the Western countries. But what you're doing wrong is trying as much as possible to phase out and erase uh, the voices from the global south. It makes us feel like the activism and the disasters in Africa wouldn't be a selling cake for you. But the incident didn't deter Vanessa from continuing her fight and drawing attention to climate change issues in Africa. What happened turned out to be a positive thing because of how we responded to it as activists from Africa. And uh, it has awakened most youth to stand up and rise up and demand for action, as well as awakened media and the public about the dangers of climate change. Before the pandemic, she also took her activism into the classroom. At this school in central Uganda, she wanted to inspire the next generation to get passionate about the environment. It's a message, she says, the children need to hear. To protect the trees. I believe that every kid deserves an opportunity to be in such a class, to clearly understand the importance of the things that they see in the environment. These kids understand. They clearly knew the importance of these trees. But if you come into that class and teach them and remind them, that keeps them alert and aware of the destruction that goes, on, that goes on in the environment and pushes them to conserve. Since the start of the pandemic, Vanessa has kept up her activism online. She's used her social platforms to draw attention to issues such as climate education, climate catastrophes and clean energy. Vanessa has also found her voice on an international stage. Leaders must acknowledge that we are in a crisis and start treating it as a crisis. The people and the planet must come first before anything else. If you do not treat climate change as a crisis, then you will not do what is necessary for us to get out of this mess. Vanessa believes that climate change is intrinsically tied to poverty, hunger and conflict. And she hopes that leaders, both at home, in Uganda and abroad, will act quickly enough to change things.